Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mok Josi. Today I would like to talk about the tactical knife defense and um, here we will be showing you a very practical tactical <laughs> knife but not really a knife, a blade. Um, just like our previous video, we love to showcase some good blades. <laughs> so in this video, we're showing you the, the uh, Coast Steel Special Force Shuffle. <clears throat> Take a look closer. So we have a nice wood uh, wood handle with glossy finish and also two strong, big strong screw and a nice uh, cover like that. Okay, for the cover, you unbutton the cover like that and pull this out, there goes the shovel. You can see the shovel is uh, shiny kind of like a painted surface and it's shiny and rust uh, and rust resistant and here's the uh, handle that goes in you can change the handle if you like it's a very nice shovel uh, if you use this in like in the wild uh, in the forest stuff like that you can just take off the screw and then shove in a longer branch or something like that and uh, you got a spear so anyway, so this is the shovel, and you see this shovel is sharp. It has a uh, sharpened edge right here. Very, very cool. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at the what I mean by a sharp edge. The shovel here, okay, is not sharp enough to to cut your finger like that, but it is sharp. You can see that you can cut paper with it. Uh, let's try this here. See, it is sharp, sharp enough to cut paper, vegetables, uh, whatever. It's, it's a nice edge, and uh, all you need is a file to um, to resharpen the edge whenever you want. But it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be razor sharp all the time. You just need this to be sharp enough so that um, you can use it to you know cut stuff, cut cut fruits, uh, you can chop wires, you can use it to chop branches, you can, you know, this is a very practical tool and you can basically use it for a lot of things. Um, it's good to store this inside your car uh, or maybe even beside the front door, inside your car, stuff like that. And this thing here will be a very good tool for almost any situation. You can use this for, you know, uh, when you put it in the car, uh, when you get an ice storm or snow storm, something like that, or you got in the mud, whatever, you can use this to help your, your car to uh, escape from the snow and stuff like that. Also, uh, besides all that emergency usage, uh, we can also use this because it has a nice sharp edge, it's compact in size, and also uh, it's very durable and tough. You can use this as a self-defense weapon or home defense weapon. Now, in this video, we'll be showing you a few techniques to utilize the uh, Coast Steel Special Force Shuffle in a combat situation. And I suggest that if you practice uh, the form, or I mean to practice the techniques, you can uh, put the cover on first just to prevent yourself from uh, getting injured from the sharp edge. Now. <clears throat> Here I would like to demonstrate a few techniques that you want to uh, know. First of all, we have a nice sharp edge here. Okay. Also some sharp edge here, a corner and two edge. These uh, can be used, for example here, this, this here, the top, can be used to poke right here, or it can go shove up here. See, you can use the side to chop, okay, you can cut, also these here, the uh, corner, for the corner, you can do this and dip into here, it will also go in nicely. So there are a lot of ways to use the, the shovel. Besides um, using the shovel, like learning how to attack with the shovel, you can also defend. You can use the shovel as a shield like this, 
Okay, so you can basically block right here, block away, and then the other side you can go smack and smack down to the uh, to the face. Right here, you smack and go boom like that, like boom. This is a smack to the face. Okay, guys. So now let's take a look right here. I'll show you a few movements. To hold the shuffle, you can see that uh, it's slim down here. You can hold it like this, <clears throat> and then again like that with the right hand, and also the shuffle facing up like that. Okay. Now the shuffle acts like a mouse pointer arrow pointing forward, and your other hand must be always here to give support or quick uh, movement, okay? Like you can change the hand. Okay, now here is a few very simple techniques. <clears throat> you can use the shuffle um, by using one hand or two hands. Right now, I'll be teaching you a few very simple techniques to, uh, to attack and block and stuff like that. Okay, let's take a look. As we said in our earlier lessons, uh, the lectures, we have a grid like this, a cross and an X. To encounter the uh, attacks from left and right, you can basically use this edge here and this edge here to do a block Okay, to do a block and then circle back to the center. Block and circle back to the center. The other side, you can also block and circle back to the center. When you're at the center, you want to shove the shuffle upward so that it goes like this and shove up here. So it must go on a slanted angle and shove it up. Okay, let's take a look everyone. Block to the left, block and then shove. When you want to shove the shuffle upward, remember my uh, always the rule of thumb, you're attacking with the body movement. You have to shove by stepping upward and not extending the hand only. You see when I extend the hand, it's like this. When I extend the hand and move up, it's a longer, much longer distance that you're traveling. So you use your body, the weight, the whole body mass, to go up and shove. So it will shove it up much harder than you think. Hey, okay, let's go everyone. Block the left, block and chop the left, back to the center, shove. Block the right, using the, the right edge, block, back to the center, shove. Okay. Let's try again everyone. Block and shove. Block and shove. It's a, it's a very easy movement. Block and shove. Block and shove. See, circle this way, circle the other way. Make sure you your elbows are down and also clamp inside and you're using your wrist to turn. To practice, you go like this and you use the wrist to make circles. Use the shovel head to draw a circle. Clockwise and counterclockwise and then you will also train your wrist to circle uh, better and also you strengthen your wrist like that. Okay so you learn the basic uh, defense and attack. For the upper corner that is coming down from the upper left and right corner these are more tricky to do but you can apply the same techniques to the two. For example coming from the upper left, okay, upper left corner, like this, okay, shove, you use this to block, see, block, and then shove, the other side, same thing, block, and then shove, always shove it up the neck, aim for anything here and above. Yeah, you don't shove right here because it's really hard if they are wearing a thick clothing. If you shove here, it's not going to get in. But if you shove here, it's going to get in for sure. Always keep the shovel at a slanted angle. See? Like this, and then shove it up. You want to keep it on an angle so that it's always pointing to the neck. Right here. Okay. 
So here is the basic, most basic thing you can do. Even for the lower one, you can also do this. When they come low from this angle, okay, the lower left angle, chop and that angle, chop and this is very simple. You don't even need to learn a lot of stuff. Just learn to circle and shove. Circle and shove. Upward, circle and shove. This way, circle and shove. Only learn about circle and shove. And you can cover a lot of areas. Okay, so um, after learning these very simple movements, which can uh, give you a lot of self-defense power already, we'll show you a few uh, very cool things. Now, if you hold the shovel with one hand like this, your other hand uh, is used like so. You want to block, right, with the uh, shovel. So the other hand can slide in to grab and then use the elbow to stick on like that, okay? Stick on and then block, okay? You block away, give it a kick, and then bang! See, this kind of movement can also be anti-grappling whatever movement. Okay, you block, grab here, and bang, and then shove. See, so there's a lot of uh, cool movements that you can do and a lot of very cool techniques that you can use with this uh, shuffle. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a very short lecture. Uh, hope you guys like it. <laughs> and uh, now you know how useful this thing is for self-defense situation and also for all kinds of emergency situation. Uh, remember to subscribe and like. Okay, bye-bye.